Map making was never an easy task, especially when you don't have access to modern tools. The mapping of Singapore using modern scientific methods began only in the 19th century, when the British arrived here. Yet over 400 years ago, Iradia, who had never set foot on Singapore, managed to produce a map like this. What we have here is a book published in 1882. It is a French translation of a Portuguese manuscript work that was originally written in 1613 by Iradia, who is an author born in Malacca. This uh, manuscript work entitled Declaracum de Malacca describes the early history of the Malay Peninsula in the 1600s when Malacca was still under the Portuguese um, control. The original manuscript work is with the uh, Royal Library in Brussels, Belgium. This map um, is actually a sketch uh, rather by Iradia who drew it in um, 1604. It has some of the recognisable names of places on it. You can see um, Sungai Bodok here, you can see uh, Tanjung Ru, you can also see um, Tanah Merah. And interestingly, you can see here Blakan Mati, which was an early name used for um, Sentosa. And if you look at the term here, Viontana, it is actually a Portuguese name for Johor. Johor was actually called uh, Ujong Tana by the Malays and Viontana is a corruption of the word Ujong Tana. Interestingly, he also uh, indicates some of the early European names that was used for the island, such as the island of the old uh, Shabanda. Here it's indicated as the Portuguese term Shabandria because Singapore had a very important port that was used by the uh, Europeans when they were travelling from the uh, west to the east. Iradia was um, actually interested in uh, finding this uh, land to the south of the uh, Malay Peninsula which he called uh, Meridional India. He believed this land had a lot of uh, riches. So in um, 1601, he left Goa to find this um, land of gold. But unfortunately, he was uh, detained in Malacca for about four years due to hostilities in the um, area. So he had to help the uh, Portuguese uh, administrators out there. When he was um, stranded in Malacca, he took the opportunity to um, explore the region. And that's when um, probably he drew the uh, map of um, Singapore when he was using the Singapore Straits as he was going to Johor. So in that respect, this work has a lot of significance because it's very rare to have uh, works describing uh, this part of the region uh, by somebody who was born and bred here.